What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from Kyoto, Japan. Here we are at the Doubletree Hotel by Hilton. This is one of the main drags here in Kyoto. We're going to go inside here. And I'm going to show you this beautiful hotel. Headed down to the lobby reception area. You can either walk or take the elevator. I'm just going to walk the stairs here. Check in. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Show you the restaurant. It's where they'll do the breakfast. Hash browns, main kitchen. All right, well, what do you say we go upstairs and see what's going on up there? So they do have a spa here. Pretty big gym. And here's a look at the room. It's got twin beds, which is not what I actually booked online. Um, that's kind of weird. So I booked a king size bed, king size room. She said she was upgrading me and she gave me this. That's not making much sense, but let's see if we can make sense of this a little bit more. How is this an upgrade? Toilet, where's the lighting? Okay, so the reason it's a premium room is because it's got a bigger bathroom and tub. Although I probably would have rather had the bigger bed in this case. It's okay. Um, yeah. Let's see what else they got over here. Toilet, standard. So I'll just stick with this for now. And here's a look at the kitchen here. Hello, hi. Very friendly people working here. It's where they do breakfast. Steak. Okay, now for my final review of the Hilton Doubletree in Kyoto. Uh, I found the rooms to be very comfortable, quiet. The blackout blinds were great. Um, the spa is also something that you may enjoy. I don't personally go in there. Um, I didn't go in there. Uh, they also had sparkling water um, with fresh water, refillable jugs. So that was cool to find soda water. Um, I feel as though in Japan in particular, they're very strict with the check-in times, check-out times. Um, and as far as being an elite member, a uh, diamond, I don't really feel as though the comprehension of that for Hilton in Japan is there. Um, so there's not really a big 
difference whether you're a regular uh, Hilton member or a Hilton Honors Diamond. Um, that's not something that I'm trying to like really harp on, especially if you're not a Diamond member, it's going to be a good experience. But if you are a Diamond member and you expect uh, them going, you know, perks and all that. Uh, one perk I did notice actually was 25% off the meals. So that was good. But as far as like the treatment or the room upgrades or the checkout times, there's not really that much, uh, uh, you know, respect for the diamond status. I have seen that across uh, Japan pretty, pretty much in general. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, you're a diamond, you're a titanium elite, you're whatever. So that's just something that I want to prepare you for. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's not what you would expect in other places. When you go other places and you're a diamond, they're like, oh, thank you, you're a diamond member. Wow, let me go out of my way and make sure to welcome you. You know, you're not going to get that kind of experience in Japan, really. Um, but overall, for this hotel, I would say it's about a 4.7. There are some things that they could work on. Um, the front desk does reasonably good job, but this customer service still needs some work, I would say. Uh, check-in time seemed like it took longer than it should have. It took around uh, like 15 minutes just to check in. Uh, I don't think that's necessary to check in for 15 minutes. <laughs> it, you know, a check-in process may be three, far, three to five minutes, right? Especially if someone's really on the ball, they're like, got your reservation pulled up. It shouldn't take that long. Um, and I don't really know what was going on for 15 minutes, but it was just slow. I even dropped off my bags because, again, Japan, they don't let you check in early. Uh, like, I haven't been to a hotel that's let me check in early. The one time I did get a uh, late checkout, they made me pay uh, 1,000 yen per hour. Okay, fine. But, like, if it's 3 o'clock for check-in, they're going to say, you need to be checking in at 3 o'clock. It's not like Thailand or Philippines or somewhere else where if you're an elite member or a diamond member, you can check in, you know, before 3 o'clock. Uh, so I had to stow my bags. Now, one of the things that other hotel chains or uh, Hilton's do is if I do store my bags, they'll offer either one of two things. They'll have my keys already prepared for me so that when I do come back to the hotel, uh, they've already got everything set up and I checked in. I felt like I checked in twice here. Uh, first time I checked in, let me see your passport and verification. Oh, okay, sorry, we can't check in until three. All right, fine, so I'll go walking around the town. That was around like 11.30. But then when I came back at 6.30ish, you know, it was like a whole second check-in. That just, to me, is part of what really put a bad taste in my mouth about this hotel. Uh, but overall, 4.7 is what I give it. The location, it's pretty good, but it's more peaceful. There's not much uh, nightlife or restaurants around this area. So don't expect much in terms of that. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoy your stay here. Uh, it is a comfortable hotel, peaceful. Food is reasonably good. Customer service just needs to get a little bit more training. Thank you guys. See you on the next one.